I'm back with another miniature engine. This one is an absolute beauty. It's a miniature version of a Harley Davidson Panhead V2. I'm gonna be making a proper engine mount, a custom set of tuned exhaust headers. Then I'm gonna start it up and see if I could get that signature Harley sound. When I first saw this engine, I thought this was a miniature of a shovel head, but after looking into it further, I realized that this is a miniature of a pan head engine, and the reason they're called that is because of the shape of the valve cover right there. In my opinion, if you put a little stick right there, that to me looks like an old school coal shovel. I don't have any pans in my kitchen that have that shape, but that's what this is called, a pan head engine. And if we take a closer look, the attention to detail and the quality is actually pretty amazing. Overall, this has to be one of my favorite miniature engines that I've seen. But the real question is, how does it sound when it runs? One broken tubing bender and two sore hands later, my pipes are all done. I think they came out pretty amazing, not without some sweat and grunt. This was a lot of hand work to shape these pipes and these are equal length, which is really important for the sound. Next thing I'm gonna do, get this set up, get it started, and let's see how it sounds. Here we go, I got the ignition all set up, all the wiring taped up, there's a nice little wiring harness, the fuel line secured, the engine is primed, and we're ready to go. Now, if that didn't sound like a Harley, I don't know what does. That was impressive. I think if I close my eyes, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this engine idling and an actual Harley. I'm pretty sure that the equal length had a lot to do with the sound as well as those cuts on the end, which I've read amplify the sound sort of like a speaker and give it that bassy and poppy sound. And then that hollow sort of sound comes from the actual tube. But to give you an idea, just listen. It's almost like a musical instrument, and I think all those attributes sort of add to the signature sound. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these valve covers, point the high-speed camera at this thing and start it again to see if maybe we could see the sequence of firing as well as the valve timing because that's what these engines are known for, having both pistons connected at a single point on the crankshaft, which means that they fire in sequential order. Now, I'm not really, really familiar with these, 
but we should be able to see that timing with the high-speed camera. That was pretty cool to see in slow motion. I think I broke the crankshaft because if you look at the high speed footage, you can see after I did that full throttle blip, the crankshaft started wobbling a lot. And now that I'm looking at it, check this out. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I had to switch from gas to methanol nitro mix. Something happened with the ignition board during that first run and uh, just wouldn't run anymore. So I converted it over to nitro and it sounds pretty similar, a little bit different. It ran really good on nitro. That might be why it kind of over revved and maybe damaged the crankshaft, who knows. I also want to mention the app that my sister and I were working on, Text to Shop, is done and it's out and it is currently in a working version of the software. So definitely check it out. It's not what you think. You basically take the entire text message or your entire list, you copy it and you paste it right into the app. You search by the store you want to shop in and then it lists all of your items in alphanumerical order so you can get in the store and get out fast and there's no need to remove any of the conversational text. This is an app that my sister and I developed, so definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I'll also leave a link for this engine right here. I got this engine from sterlingkit.com, and don't worry, this isn't the last that you're gonna see of this engine. I'm gonna fix it up, get it back running on gasoline, fix that crankshaft, and I'm using it for an upcoming project, uh, and I'll try to get a discount code if I can get one. I'll put it in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. On to the next video.